Craig's stuff is definitely not for kids. I curse. A lot. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah! Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig and I got some stuff here. What do you got? We got, look at these. A lot of stuff. Ninja, NECA, TMNT, uh, action figures. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if you didn't know what TMNT stands for. If you don't know what that means, you shouldn't be watching this. No, probably not. Hey, come on. Ninja Turtles, baby. Classics. Cowabunga! All right. So uh, we got a couple foot soldiers. There's two foot soldiers. Why do you need more than one? Because they come with different weapons and stuff. You get different weapons in each. One's like melee weapons, they call it, and then one is something else. And then we got uh, Splinter and Shredder. So. Movies. Yeah, these are the movie turtles stuff. I'm, I'm real psyched for these because they're going to look they're gonna look great over there with those toitles. Right the there. Toitles? The toitles. Then how about we... Uh, we pop these suckas open. So here are all three out of the packaging, and they look pretty damn cool. We're gonna take a look at all three, or all four of them, I guess, individually. Uh, three and a half. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all three and a half of them individually. Uh, we'll take a look at all their accessories first, and then we'll talk about articulation and uh, and everything else. So, uh, all right, let's get started. So first off, we have the uh, the melee weapons foot soldier, and he comes with. Uh, a whole bunch of accessories. Obviously, he looks exactly like the other foot soldier, but they just come with different. They're just there for me, more money. Yeah, yeah, but they figure people want a couple of them because they want to have two guys with sh standing there next to Shredder. Okay. That's the idea. So, with him, you get a uh, a nice bow staff. That's really cool. You get, uh, I think they're called Tonfa, and then you get a couple uh, different. Uh, what's what's it called? Nunchucks. And uh, four different hands and what looks to be an additional uh, head, head, um, oh, hand, head bandana, a head bandana. You get the, just the back end of it though. Oh. So I guess if this breaks, I don't think it doesn't really look any different than the one that's on them. So, so I don't know. I guess if that one breaks, they give you a, a, a bonus one. I guess. It doesn't look to be any different. Because it sways a different way. One's left foot, right? I mean, it does look like it sways a little bit differently. Maybe, okay, I guess if you just wanted it to sway a little bit differently, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the point. Okay, that's cool. So now with the uh, the bladed weapons, right? That was what was yeah, said? Yeah, blade. It's the bladed weapons foot soldier. You get a, uh, a nice, I guess it's a katana, you know, a samurai sword. You have a nice axe, a couple of, uh, of what are those things called? Which ones? Those I things, the electro ones. Uh, Things that uh, Raphael uses. Yeah. What are they called? <laughs> Psy. Psy, there you go. You get a couple of Psy. And then you get a, also four hands and another one of the uh, bandana things. S swaying a different way. S swaying a different way. And then with our main man Shredder, we get a uh, also a, a, well, I guess it's, well, it's, like not, it's not a bow staff. It's like a... It's a bladed bow staff. Yeah. You get like a bladed bow staff. Then you get just a small knife as well as, I guess that's uh, the holder... And a couple, uh, four, four extra hands for him. You know, he's got those blades on the hands, yeah. so he can, like, like almost like Wolverine. Plus he has the blades on his forearm. He's got a lot of blades. He does. I don't know how. Imagine, like, Shredder just, like, sneezed. Oh, God. In, like, today's, <laughs> in today, the way you have to, you got to make sure you do this. You got to make sure you sneeze, you know. Imagine he's going like this. you! Oh my God! He slashed his whole face off. What about his cape? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. The most important accessory. Yeah, I, I totally forgot. Shredder also comes with a cape, which uh, it's shiny. It's a very shiny cape that you actually. It does come separately in this bag, so that's a nice. Comes with a nice cape. Nice there. Nice wow! Belt. Look, the cape has uh, wiring on it. Oh. Look at that! Like so you can, you know. That's how he sneezes. He uses his cape. cape. And then last but not least, the main man, Splinter. Splinter comes with uh, the least amount of accessories compared to everybody else. You only get a, uh, a couple of nunchucks. You get a slice of pizza. Did Splinter eat pizza with them? I'm sure he had a slice. Yeah, yeah he had Spl one. Splinter was probably like, yeah, he probably had one slice. Yeah. Like, he left, a, you know, like Michelangelo had a pie to himself. 
And then Splinter probably is just like eating one in a corner slowly with a fork and knife. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then you get, uh, I guess, a, a, a thing of the ooze. It's a, a canister, yeah, of, a canister of ooze. That's really cool. So now we will talk about articulation. Obviously, I'm only going to show off one of the foot soldiers because they are exactly the same. Why show two? Why would I show the same thing twice? You always have to be very careful with NECA figures. They tend to be pretty, uh, you know, fragile. fragile. That's what they say. To be on the safe side, I probably should have a hair dryer here, but um, I'm way too lazy to go get one. So we're doing it. We're risking it. All right. So we got head, head motion goes back forth. Uh, you get some pretty good health. Head tilt. He goes up pretty far, uh, pretty far down. And then this is where it gets scary. All right. Arms go only up to about there, down. Uh, we'll go all the way around, but um, but again, you should probably have that hair dryer. We have a uh... hair dryer. Yeah, because you're supposed to heat up the joints, loosen them up, oh. or like hot water. Hair dryers tend to work, you know, pretty well because then you don't get you're not getting them wet. All right, so elbows go to about only go to about there. The uh, the wrists also spin uh, at the upper at the elbow area uh and then also at the hand they also spin and the wrists go up back and forth pretty well and then you get looks like uh, let's see do we have a waist joint here the waist is uh underneath the belt you do have a waist joint there it does spin it's kind of tight but it's it looks good and the everything here is all covered which is nice the uh the belt actually kind of folds over the waist joint so it hides any uh seams any seams exactly then you got legs go out to about there. Again, see this is, Nick Neck, knows how to do it. A lot of figures, the butt, the booty, the booty, the booty blocks the uh, articulation from the leg going back. And you can see that the, uh, you know, the butt comes down this way. But if you put the leg, look, look at that. The butt is a Ooh. flexible material, a little bit pliable material for the butt. Then you have uh, double jointed knees. Again, this is this is terrifying. You gotta be re real careful. There you go. So you got nice double jointed knees that go that far back. Ankles go up, down, and there is that nice ankle pivot there for you, which is always good. Honestly, articulation on this guy's pretty good. Good job, NECA. Next, we're gonna go with Shredder. Most likely, the articulation will be just like the uh, the foot soldier. So, but. I'm sure stuff will be hindered because he's got more armor. So we got his head goes back only about that far. And obviously, his helmet is in the way. Then it goes about this far forward. His helmet should come off. Goes back and forth all the way around like that. Arms go only up to about here. He is hindered by the, uh, shoulder, pad. the shoulder pad. You have that double jointed elbow. Uh oh. Okay. Get the hand dryer. The wrists do spin at the elbow. And you got the wrist joint spins go and goes up and down. Just like the foot soldier, the waist spins right underneath the belt. You get pretty good motion there. My legs kick out about that far. That far back. You got nice double jointed knees, which again, always have to be careful. Also with these, uh, you gotta be careful with these spikes. I feel like I'm gonna break something. All right, so after a lot of careful bending, you got the leg, the, the knee to go that far back. That's pretty solid. And then you have your ankle pivot and up and down with the foot. Not bad for the shredder. And then last we got Master Splinter. So Master Splinter uh, is definitely gonna have the least articulation out of him, uh, but uh, let's see what he's got. So your head actually, look at that, that's awesome. Head goes really far Thanks. up so he can look at the sky like a turkey. I was going to say, he's like a werewolf howling. Oh! So he's yeah. He does have uh, a waist joint, but you're not going to have to move it too, too much. There's a lot of things going on around with his ripped ripped up uh, um, clothing. So his arms only go up to about there. You have to be very careful with these because you can't really see your joint because it's yeah. totally covered. So you just, again, I always recommend... The uh, hair, dryer. hair dryer. The elbows bend into about that far and go out that far. Uh, I can't tell if that is a double joint. It looks to be, it feels like it's on a single joint. I'm not positive. Um, and I apologize for that. I guess, I'm a, I guess I'm a noob. There's a hinge there for the wrists. So the wrists actually you can get his hands to go pretty far down and pretty far up. And they also spin all the way around. 
So Splinter does a pretty good split. His legs go out that far. Uh, they go this far, that far forward, and then and then that far back. He has a, uh, a single jointed knee, so I'm gonna guess that's the same thing with the, the arms, is that single joint. Uh, and then he also has, uh, I guess, I guess you can call it the ankle. The ankle goes, that is the ankle. Yeah, the ankle. <laughs> it's a single joint for the ankle and it goes up and down. It doesn't go back at all. At the, at the foot joint, his toes kind of go back and forth. He's got that long, those long toes. But he does not have any ankle pivot. So that's, uh, that's, what, that's all you get. Yeah, that's all you get. But then you get a, uh, his tail is, uh, his tail does move around and it is uh, on a bendy wire. So you can bend it. You can bend it. Good old bendy wires. That kind of stuff is always good for tails. So the paint apps are always very solid from Naked. They do a great job. I mean, look at look at him. He's it definitely looks like fabric on him. So it's it just looks really nice. There's not really much splotchiness even around the different the color change here on like the bandana or his, uh, eyes. Or his eyes. Stop touching this thing. You're shaking the I'm camera. Sorry. The armor looks good. There's a little bit of mixture with the brown and uh, like a silver to make that look a little bit more metallic. And uh, everything looks really, really well done on there. But he's mostly just one color. Although it looks to be like there's almost a blue, there's like blue shading in with the black to uh, to make the everything pop a little bit. Actually, if you look real close, it looks like a like a very like a dark blue shading in with the black. So very, very cool. And then you got Shredder, who also looks really good. Uh, he's very glittery. He's bedazzled. He's very, he's, but he is bedazzled. Uh, you will get a lot of glitter on yourself. I got some glitter on my hands, uh, just from posing them around. And, uh, but he overall looks really good. Same thing. The, uh, the helmet looks really, really well done. It just looks like that dark chain mail. The regular silver looks really good. They, they just paint these so well. There's not any, uh, not really much paint breaks or splotching or anything like that. The, uh, the eyes actually look really good on there. That's really nice. And uh, overall, very, very well done. And then last Splinter. Of course, Splinter looks great. Everything uh, is painted very well. All the different uh, tones in his fur look really, really nice. I love the, the bandages look very, he looks super dirty. Like his, uh, even on even on the cloth, it just looks like he's been trekking through the sewers. He's dirty. He's a rat. He's a rat, exactly. So he's gonna look dirty. So they did a good job. It's also worth noting I could not really get Splinter to stand on his own too well. He kind of really needs this tail to, to hold him up, which is uh, which is fine. You just put the tail in a in a good position and he he'll stand. Alrighty, everybody. I guess that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure you click that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and check me out on Instagram and the Twitter at Craig Stuff. I will see you guys next time. Later.